Hey Earth Signs, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do your um, October weekly messages. This is going to be for the 1st through the 7th. Happy October! I'm so excited! Um, yeah, so <laughs> I am going to be doing them individually in rows. Um, so I'm going to start with Capricorn. Okay, so it's going to be Capricorn, Taurus, and then Virgo. So Capricorn, we have the first card that we have here. These are all from different oracle cards and and tarot so the first one we have is phoenix this is be prepared to be renewed after a period of crisis Ooh, you are rising up from your ashes whatever that has been dead and gone that uh, shedding old skin whatever you are being renewed and it, and it had to happen okay so this could be many things you are definitely going through a renewal a rebirth a phoenix here is rising from their ashes. A phoenix never dies. You never truly die. You only just renew and um, enhance. Exactly, That's exactly what I'm seeing here for you. So then we have, wow, rebirth. <laughs> the second oracle is rebirth. Butterfly. Someone's turning into a butterfly. You went through... A cocoon there was a crisis maybe a spiritual awakening or something that had happened right so with the rebirth and the Phoenix come on that just screams transformation to me you're definitely going through some kind of transformation and it's for the best and we ugh, the Oracle card look at the Oracle card which is mummy look at the bottom what it says change mummy is about change you are definitely going through a major change I'm not sure if you had a tower moment. Well, actually you did. There probably was a tower moment because we have tower reversed. So whatever the crisis you were going through in the past while this was in the upright is now done and over with. You're renewed. You had to go through it. You are feeling like you're able to pick up, you know, for the best. You're able to, anything that has been stopped, blocked, or it was in time, you're now able to begin again a new life. Because we have the tower reverse, this is clar clarification that the worst is behind you. You can move forward with caution. Okay? We do have the temptation card here. So you will be tempted to go back to your old ways. You will be tempted to fall back on the old that you pretty much the crisis that you went through and stuff you will be tempted to go back on that path but it's only to to tempt you and to test you to see if you learned your lesson to see if you are ready okay so because these major changes are bringing this kind of like huge transformation and change there's going to be a test and that test is going to be the temptation whether it is you're going to give in you're going to learn or you're going to pass the two tarot cards that we have here are um the five of wands and the lovers so because we have the five of wands here this talks about conflict right conflict fights um betrayal this could be um feeling tempted like i said to fall back to your old ways and cause conflict or be negative or it could be so many things so be very careful because you will be tested okay and because we do have the lovers here the choice is up to you this is talking about decisions this could also be you getting back together with the lovers starting new again resurrecting your love all over again and with that temptation you will be tempted to to fight again and to break down everything that you rebuilt but do not give in okay the choice is yours for for you to make do not go back to that okay please pass it please pass it <laughs> All right, so with that being said, let's move it on to Taurus. All right, Taurus, you have flowers. Be generous, success, and emotional fulfillment are yours. Ooh, be generous. This, this is like the equal give and take to give back everything that you've received. For those who have helped you along your way, give back. For if you have, make sure that you donate. 
So it's pretty much saying be generous. Success and emotional fulfillment is yours. You are going to be so happy. Your success that you've been working hard for is going to be coming to fruition, blossoming out, right? Yes. Love it, love it, love it. But be sure to be thankful for everything that you have. Then we have inner strength. Whatever that you went through, everything that you endured has caused you to really come out alive as a stronger person. You are like rock solid hard. You had to be broken open at one point. Cracks had to be opened to let new in, to let the abundant in. If not, if we're not broken, how else is life going to get in, right? So pretty much this is exactly has that's that's going on or will be going on. And it's only so that the new and the abundant and the light can come in. All right. Then we have, wow, love begins. You see that? The pouring of the cup. Your love is going to be flowing. Like I said, emotional fulfillment, especially with that flower card there where it says it's, you're going to be happy and and pros, uh, very triumphant and prosperous. So look at that love begins if something has been stopped paused or you haven't been able to move forward in love it's going to begin all over again for you and we have the two of cups which came after that you see this is decisions and love giving each other your cups both of you guys are pouring each other's cups in one both hands two cups two hands one cup Pouring it down, letting love flow like a river. Okay? So this is kind of like enjoying your love life. Enjoying the joys and the little simple things in life. Feeling happy and grateful for the people in your life. And just feeling very in love with yourself, with your partner, and with everything surrounding you. Okay? Then we have the King of Hazards. Okay, the King of Hazards along with the Knight of Ghost, which is the Knight of Cups. So with these two cards, I feel like someone's coming towards you to bring, uh, to, show, to show you how they truly feel. Someone who's very stable, someone who's ready to be in a committed relationship, who's faithful, who is very stable and grounded. Someone who's going to come towards you to offer you their love, a proposal perhaps, to move in with them. And like I said, love begins and the two of cups. Come on now. Come on now. That just screams like love, 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 right? <laughs> love begins. But the oracle card that came out for you was zombie. And this is control. Try not to, to have control issues, okay? This is about taking control of your love life and your life, but not being too controlling or controlling of somebody else. This is about controlling yourself, your emotions, and everything else. So taking matters into your own hand, but not controlling anybody along the way. Only yourself. So I love it. Taurus, this was an awesome reading. It's looking good for you in love. Like it says, be generous. Be generous in love. Be generous in whatever it is that you need to be generous in. Okay? Because love is going to be yours to take. Virgo, 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 we have the star card that came out for you. Beautiful card. It says, hard times are over. Look forward to an abundance of happiness, enthusiasm, and positivity. If you've been experiencing the dark night of the soul, or if you've been losing hope in your dreams, or anything that you've been working towards, that's done and over with. Hard times are done. You're able to look up and know that you have newfound hope. Something will be illuminated to you to give you hope. And this is pretty much telling you you're going to be the center of all the stars. You're going to be looked at as a star. You're going to be looked upon as someone who is up there. Then we have meditation. Okay, meditation is about centering yourself, uh, going within, quieting your universe, and really speaking to your higher guides, listening to the universe, listening to your subconscious mind. I feel like you have been doing this, and that's what's keeping you going. That's what's keeping you being prosperous, keeping you from collapsing. <laughs> this has helped you through your hard times, and it's telling you to continue doing it. Okay. 
Then we have the waiting game. Okay, everything that you want and you truly desire is going to be yours for the taking. Okay, like I said, the hard times are over with the star card. Now it's all about waiting. This is also talking about divine timing. Everything comes to you in divine timing. That is why we have certain phases and cycles that we go through. So, um, yeah, hopefully this brings you great joy and happiness knowing that it's, it's almost time. You see that? It's almost time. Your abundance is almost here. Okay. Then the three uh, tarot cards that we have here is the Six of Pentacles. This is being generous. This is giving back to those who to help you along the way. This is a giving someone a helping hand. Friends or family or a lover. Any, it could be anybody. Being there to to assist them as they assisted you and just giving back to the community and those around you being grateful and generous then we have um the five of wands and the seven of bats reversed which is the seven of swords reversed i feel like with everything that you've been through the drama and the conflict i feel like someone will be trying to start something with you and you are going or they're going to try to start drama with you but you're going to catch them you're going to catch them red-handed you're going to stop them in their tracks before anything starts to get worse or, or further to get complicated if there was drama in the past that's going to be stopped blocked and removed from your path okay so the oracle card that came out was the joy card look at that it says rejoicing in the present, enjoying the now, taking each moment and each day and breathing in, knowing that every second is worth being happy. You see how there's autumn leaves here? Look at that, October, November. I feel like you will be happy and rejoicing in the little things in life and feeling happy with uh, emotional how things are playing out and just being happy with the present very very grateful that's good good vibes for my virgo so there you go earth signs this was your weekly message please give it a thumbs up like share and subscribe and i'll see you in your next video bye